Hi class. So today we're going to be um, reading and listening to two poems. Um, that's right. I love poetry and you're going to love it too. These two poems are going to go hand in hand with your next formative. Um, so here are the titles. I Too Sing America oops, by Langston Hughes. And right before that is I Hear America Singing by Walt Whitman. If that sounds similar, if those titles sound similar, they're meant to sound similar, one is in response to the other. I'm also going to be showing you the juxtaposition of these two poems. In class, we're gonna talk about the authors more. We're gonna watch some really cool videos. Uh, you're gonna have some turn and talk moments and we'll go over juxtaposition a little bit more in detail. Okay, so the first poem is I Hear America Singing. That, what, that was written almost 100 years um, before the second poem. Here we go. I hear America singing, the varied carols I hear, those of mechanics, each one singing his as it should be blithe and strong, the carpenter singing his as he measures his plank or beam, the mason singing his as he makes ready for work or leaves off work, the boatman singing what belongs to him in his boat, the deckhand singing on the steamboat deck, the shoemaker singing as he sits on his bench, the hatter singing as he stands, the woodcutter song, the plowboys on his way in the morning or at noon, intermission or at sundown, the delicious singing of the mother or of the young wife at work or of the girl sewing or washing, each singing what belongs to him or her and to none else the day what belongs to the day, at night, the party of young fellows, robust and friendly, singing with open mouths their strong, melodious songs. Okay. Um, if this sounds cheerful and happy, it's because it is. Uh, Walt Whitman was celebrating the everyday American. So, this is not talking about this opportunity in America to become rich and famous. It is talking about the opportunity um, that he sees granted to every American, right? You have the ability to work and to make a life for yourself. And this is joyous, right? You have this um, freedom and this right to do so. Um, this was written, uh, quite a while ago, so you do see some gender roles being played out here, uh, which was normal during that time. Okay, so keep this in mind. So singing about the everyday American, able to work, able to have a happy life, have a home and children and a wife and the young men are strong and they go out at night and the older men are strong and they work and the women are wives and they whistle and sing and as they sew and uh, take care of the homes. It's a celebration of the ordinary person. Okay, And now we have this text that was written, this poem that was written almost a hundred years after. And so we see, uh, similar to the first title, this one says, I too sing America. Okay, so I hear America singing, I too sing America. All right, let's see, this is by Langston Hughes. I too sing America, I am the darker brother. They send me to the, they send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow, I'll be at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. Why would he say two? So we know two means also. So why is he saying, hey, I'm also singing. So we, let's go back to the other poem. Do we hear his voice? Do we hear the voice of the African-American in this poem? Um, who is allowed to sing and work and have any job that they qualify for um, or maybe don't qualify for, right? This is not talking about uh, African-Americans. And so they're saying, hey, you left us out right? You forgot about us. 
This is almost 100 years later. And they're saying, we're a part of this too. We're a part of this nation. We uh, definitely are part of the fabric um, of this nation. And so one day you're going to see that, right? So I'm the darker brother. One day I'm not going to be pushed away to the side. I'm not going to be hidden in the corners. I'm not going to be made to eat in the kitchen. And then he says, I am going to eat well and I'm going to grow stronger. So I'm going to learn. I'm going to listen. I'm going to learn and watch tomorrow in the future. I'm going to have a seat at that table, right? I'll be able to make decisions too. I'll be able to literally sit at the table and um, sit at the table in the future as in making decisions and having a voice and a say. And then look at this last part. Nobody will say eat in the kitchen. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed, okay? So they're gonna see the worth. They're gonna see who I am, what I bring. Um, and then they're gonna be ashamed because at this point we weren't, we weren't considered as part of this fabric. We weren't considered as part of this song. We weren't considered um, as part of this opportunity or given the opportunity. And so, and they'll see how beautiful, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too, am America, right? So what do you think about that? Um, in class, we're gonna talk about both. You are going to write about it. And of course, I want you as always to connect it to any present or personal um, examples. I hope this helps and I'll see you in class. Bye. Mm -hmm.